Hey, my boy. A message has come. beast or monster. Defeating it would only add to my reputation. I should meet this abbess, Wolf Hilda. I need your eyes, my friend. No, it's the Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? You slaughtered my best milk cow, you beast! I did not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse.
These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Up here to its doom. A Jotun did this. I saw it, all big and hairy, staggering across the moor. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Warrior. I did. The night it happened, I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf, a bear. Maybe a rabbit hound. It was a Jotun, as straight as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Grendel. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. You there. What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I've heard talk of a beast on the loose. Bite marks, but not from any beasts I know. The corpse is covered in a strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Vrathgar and his band of Danes, were the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mold beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes, or something far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland preacher. The bite marks, the mold, most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No, no mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that? I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. <laughs> 